Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to enable the Go Back button on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer past the 10 days or whatever time duration Windows is allotting you. So as long as you have the Windows.old file, which contains the old version of Windows that's still saved on your computer, you should be able to revert it back. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I recommend doing would be to open up the search menu, type in PowerShell. Best result should come back with Windows PowerShell. Go ahead and right click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select Yes. And now I'll have a couple of commands in the description of my video. First one is just going to be to see if you actually have the Windows.old file still saved on your computer. If you do not, unfortunately you cannot revert back because there's no backup for the utility to pull from. So just keep that in mind. So that's going to be the first command. You want to go ahead and copy that and then go up the top bar of the PowerShell window, right click on it, select that in, paste it in, and it says element not found. So if you're coming across this 1168 error, this tutorial will not work for you. I just want to put that out there. It means there's no Windows.old file available. So unfortunately, there's really nothing you can do regarding that. However, if you do not experience an error message with that, I'm going to show you guys the Next command you want to run to go ahead and actually change the value to extend the availability of the rollback period all the way up to 60 days starting now. So you go ahead and copy the second command, go up the top bar of the PowerShell window, right click on it, select to add in, paste that in, and hit enter. So again, it wasn't able to run because I don't have my backup saved on this computer. It's been already removed, but if you did, it would go ahead actually allowing you to re-enable that option to go restore your computer back to the previous build of Windows. So pretty straightforward process, guys. Do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.